Science is right. The universe is filled with chaos. Dancing, whistling, public displays of air guitar. Someone's got to enforce a little order out there. Well, don't they? Well, don't they? We are the Zedites. It's our self-appointed duty to impose conformity throughout the galaxy. In our duties, we excelled, or so we thought, until we visited Earth where we saw methods of discipline beyond even our imagination. Huge coliseums called abusement parks. Great centrifuges in which offenders were spun like test tubes. Gladiatorial arenas from which no prisoner could hope to escape. Oh, the screams we heard! Inspired, we brought these designs back to our own planet, and we find them. And now the rebellious everywhere shall know the horrors of... The Wheel of Ferris. The Barrel of Fun. And our darkest triumph of all. Bumper Wars! Whoever offends the Zedites will pay, and pay, and pay! Salutations, Killjoy Nation, and welcome to this. This is Bumper Wars, a crash course in survival. It's a game developed by Boston Animation, and it was published by Simon & Schuster Interactive. Uh, it was distributed by the Scholastic Store. Yes, I got this through a book sale in elementary school. Uh, it's a little bit of a violent game to be giving elementary school kids, in my opinion, but hey, I still got my hands on it somehow. Uh, basically, the book sales, I wouldn't buy books if they're, like, let's put it this way, if they didn't have Magic Treehouse books or Captain Underpants books, I was buying computer games. So this one, uh, I, I glanced over this one and apparently I liked it. Uh, elementary school uh, age me would liked it, so uh, here we have it. Uh, Bumper Wars is basically an arena action game where it, it's, it's basically along the same vein of as a game like Twisted Metal. It's got the guns and the lasers and the rockets and the mines and the, the stuff. Uh, basically, it's a lot like that game, but I just seem to like it more. I don't know why. Uh, so, as you can see, I have two files over there. I've already completed the easy and medium mode of this game, and there is a hard mode that I've yet to tackle. So we are going to jump on into that. Only difference between uh, game modes in this game, like the difficulty modes, is that you, have j you just have less time, and I think the AI is a little bit more difficult. And uh, you have less time, you gotta get more points, or you gotta destroy more cars. That's really the only difference. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we are going to put our name in, obviously. We are American Killjoy, who else would we be? And uh, as you can see, we can adjust controls, sound, and graphics, but I've already done that, and let's continue. So we have multiple modes here. We have the Hall of Fame, which is, will be where we are when we finish the game. Uh, as you can see, I've already completed the game twice. I have two. Pretty high scores. Uh, bottom one's obviously the easy score, and the top score is the medium score. I believe you get more points per difficulty, but uh, I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, multiplayer apparently was pretty big when this game for origi originally came out, and you could play over GameSpy, uh, or just play over a local network and have a LAN party. But uh, I don't know how popular it is today. Uh, if any of you are interested in... Uh, in playing online, I'll see if we can uh, hook up a multiplayer match. It would be a lot of fun to get a whole bunch of people together to play this game, because it is a lot of fun. I don't know a lot of people who own this game, though, but uh, I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments if you own this game or if you've ever played it. So let's jump into single player mode, because that's what we're here for. As you can see, there's other modes here like Bot Skirmish and Skirmish, but we, we're going to focus on the tournament mode, which is the main campaign of this game, and we're going to play hard, because that's who we are. So, uh, we're gonna get a little bit of story here, and I will, I will let you see that right now. Here we go. Yesterday, you were a mail shuttle pilot for Galax. 
happily rushing the swimsuit issue of Canubial Borg Review to a lonely sentinel on outer Fnarb. When a quark storm forced an emergency landing onto planet Ot Zed, you were captured by the sadistic Zedites. Before you could say, what about interplanetary protocol? You were tried and convicted of violation of sacred airspace, a capital offense. Your sentence? Play until dead. Today, you compete in the Bumper Wars arenas. Like a gladiator of ancient Rome, your sole purpose in life is to entertain the pain-lusting Zedite elite. Lose a round, you die. Win a round, and you live to play another. Tomorrow? <laughs> An optimistic word. But there is one nano ray of hope. Win 15 rounds in 15 nerve frying arenas. Then, under Zedite law, you must be granted your freedom. Needless to say, it's never been done. In the words of the chaplain droid who administered your last rites, may your driving skills exceed your flying skills, my son. Night. You are ripped from sleep dragged from your prison cell, and herded into a cramped and smelly transport shuttle. The eyes of your shuttle mates tell a grim tale. You are not the only arena fodder aboard. No words are spoken. No eye contact made. The knowledge that only one of you will be making the return trip dangles amongst you like an obscene piñata. The shuttle hisses to a stop. An illit arena on the outskirts of Nyath City. As you are shoved into the chill night air, a note of optimism sounds in your fear-shriveled brain. At least you're all first-timers. On paper, your chances are as good as anyone else's. On paper. Of course, they don't use paper in these here parts. Okay, so our goal this time is to bump off all of our enemies before the clock expires. And yes, we get basically the car that nobody else wanted to drive, the Blitz Buggy. Uh, it's got pretty good acceleration for the uh, this this for its class, and uh, I don't know. That's about it, really. Uh, it, it it handles pretty okay, and it its top speed is not too bad, and its defense is okay. Uh, but all we can do is change the color because we have no other cars. So let's change the color to purple with flames, purple and black with flames, because I like it a lot. So let's let's hop right in. Here we go. Uh, actually, before I start, uh, as you can see, there's four. Uh, other things below the green bars there. Uh, as you can see, there's minigun, rockets, mines, and energy. Those are our main forms of attack in this game. Minigun is like a chain gun and it'll shoot a bunch of bullets. Rockets are extremely explosive and splash damage if you got a lot of cars around the explosion where the rocket, like where the rocket explodes. Mines are good uh, just to, to lay around the ground and uh, that's basically it. And then energy is for your laser and your turbo bump, which we're not going to have in this level, but we will have it in the next level, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So here we go. You have been found guilty of gross offenses against the Zedites. Your sentence, play until terminated. It uh. <laughs> shouldn't be long. Oh man, the Zedites are great. As you can see, they have completely taken bumper war bumper cars and turned it into something completely alien to us, literally. Uh, as you as, as you saw in the opening cutscene, they went to Earth and found a bunch of amusement park rides and thought they were disciplined torture devices, and apparently that's just what they saw, and nobody told them any different, so they just completely warped something that was supposed to be fun. But uh, I still think this is pretty fun, so I think we uh, we lucked out on that deal. So as you can see, we have to defeat all six of the cars that are on this map, uh, Darkness on the Edge of Town. Uh, it's a very minimal map, it's probably the smallest map in the game. And uh, as you can see, all, you, all we can do is the minigun. I mean, you can you can speed up and bump around, I'm, I, I'm holding down what would be the left control button. I'm actually playing this on an Xbox controller. It's very hard to play on a keyboard. This is the first game that I ever played that, uh, not the first game I ever played, but the first game that ever caused me hand cramps because I played it for so many hours. Uh, just love the game as a kid. Oh, if I can get up there and get that green wrench, that helps uh, your health, obviously. It'll heal you up, and uh, that's what you need, especially this at this point in the game. So uh, I guess the differences between this 
on hard and this on easy mode or medium mode is that you have five minutes in easy mode and three minutes in hard mode and this or, or no three minutes wow five minutes in easy three minutes in medium and two minutes and 40 seconds in hard geez that was really hard to say wasn't it but uh, the task remains the same for each difficulty so uh, you always have to destroy six cars but apparently we just have less time as you can see I have 30 about 3200 points down there uh, those will become more important when we have to get a certain amount of points to beat a level but we haven't reached those yet uh, where are these cars wow they are really avoiding me very well all right 30 seconds to go it is crunch time everybody we need to get this guy all right all right lefty oh nightmares over here let's see if we can get him and not fail in the first round that would be great yes you win, and your prize, more bone-pounding punishment. The Zedites are great. They're great characters, and they tend to be pretty funny most of the time. You should listen for their dialogue. It's actually quite good. So let's move on to the next level. I'm going to do two levels an episode. Uh, there's a total of 15 in the entire... 15, not 50. I wish there were 50. Uh, there's a total of 15 in the entire game, so we're going to do two an episode, and that would... That should make the episodes pretty decent lengths, depending on how, many, how much I fail. So let's move on to the next level. Hey guys, uh, I know I said that I would be able to do two levels of video, but I don't think it's going to be possible because these videos are going to be rather long, unfortunately. So, uh, and I don't want them to go too far over 10 minutes. So I think we're going to have to wait until next time to do the next level. So until next time, guys, I'm American Killjoy. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you next time. Thank <music> you.